And we are back here live at the Hottest Hour Lunch Talk with your girl, Shea Ferguson. And my special guests are here. You guys, go ahead and introduce yourselves. The QB Entertainment is here. QB, 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 QB. Yeah. 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 It's your boy, G, G, Mr. HD. You already know it's your boy, King Noah. Boy, Vinny Vega, full of fat. Yeah. Yes, we can share a mic if you want. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, we, we can share, share a mic. About, right? Okay, cool. Um, so I'm so happy you guys are here. Like, thank you for having us. Yes, thank, thank you guys so much for coming you in. We drove two hours away for you. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Shout out to y'all for coming through. Thank you again. Um, I just needed some talent in the building. I needed some fresh new talent, and I was following you guys. I love it. So tell me about QB Entertainment. Um, is it a label? Yeah, it's definitely a label, and QB stands for Queens Brooklyn Entertainment. Okay, okay. And so Vinny Vega, G Weezy, and King Noah. No. Yes, I like that. <laughs> I like that. So tell me, I want everybody just to tell me who you are briefly and Everyone that's tuning in, um, I just want you guys to listen in. And here we go. Vinny Vega, you first. How y'all doing? My name is Vinny Vega. You know, um, I got a lot of stuff coming, flex steps on the way. You know, we've been doing this for a little minute. Uh, I like to turn up a lot. So when y'all hear my music, y'all gonna hear a lot of turn up. Y'all gonna dance, y'all gonna move. We gonna get y'all lit. You already know it's your boy King Noah once again, especially, you know. Just what you're going to get from me is just, you know, I like every type of music. Uh, I was born in New York, uh, moved to Philly. Wow. <laughs> uh, back now in Harlem right now. You're right now at the college. So most likely what I like to do is just, you know, have fun, turn up, travel a lot, um, see new experiences, uh, share moments with people that sometimes can't have these moments or can't do a lot for themselves, you know, especially people that's in cancer, stuff like that. So QB Entertainment is not just music, it's like a foundation and, you know, we got a lot of stuff more coming in. So I'm so excited. Okay. You already know it's your boy, Mr. HDG, the foundation of QB Entertainment. Yes, yes. No, born and raised from Brooklyn and, you know, all our fans, they don't know that that's my brother. That's my real actual brother, same mom and same dad. So, you know what I mean? So I just want to put that out because they're always like, oh, you know how everybody always say, well, that's my bro. And you know what I mean? But we real brothers. And me, I just, I love the uh, Caribbeans. Like, you know what I mean? That's why we got that number one hit single, Rhythm, streaming yes. over 5 million right now. We are worldwide. going to play that in just a few moments, guys. I know y'all going to feel it. I feel it. But continue, continue. Yeah, you know <laughs> what I mean? But I just, we built as a team, you know, it's, 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 QB stands for Queens Brooklyn Entertainment. We built it from ground up. I remember we built it from a little studio. Wow. You know what I mean? In a basement, the homie. You know what I mean? But now look at us, man. Streaming over 5 million. Grinding hard. We just dropped a new single every day, you know. And my boy Vinny yeah. Vega dropped Flex Stuff. Yeah. 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 Love on the road. Yes, yes. Love yes. on the road for the ladies, man. That's 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 my number one record. You know what I mean? Uplifting women and you know teaching women how beautiful they are. Got vibes for everybody. Great. Yeah. And we got a, spe a special one coming called Fine Girl. Ooh. Ooh. Wait for that. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies do love y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I put that fly up, even though I had a little typo, but I put the fly out, and you know, um, still love you. <laughs> everybody was just like, "Oh my god, you're looking good." So I said, "Yeah, they come to my show." <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. yeah baby. <laughs> so, um, tell me more about yourself. When did you start? Well, each and every one of you guys. When did you start music and? Um, what do you bring to the label? Well, for me, I started when I was about, like, 15. Uh, so I started because, you know, basically my, my older brother, G. Weezy, he was, like, they had a show in front of me one time. Like, they, I, I forgot what event. It was open up, I think, for Hell Row, Dipset Row. Dipset. And that was my first show of me seeing my brother perform when i seen that i just love like the crowd i was looking at the crowd reaction i just i don't know i love the spotlight i love the way the music was flowing i i don't know it just caught me like it just was just it was 
rest in peace from there. And it's crazy because I used to play basketball. Like, that's what I was really doing before I even did music. I was trying to go to the NBA. <laughs> so, well, I was going I wish I could even go to the NBA. Why not? <laughs> but, yeah, I just, yeah, I found, yeah, music just took my heart from there. For me, it was like when I was younger, me and my uncle that passed and my father, we used to make beats. So before I started actually rapping and doing music, I was just used to make beats. And then I went to high school with Noah and I was follow QB and I liked their movement. And me and him became best friends after that. So once that happened, King Noah told me, bro, you're going to make a track one day. And then one day I made a track. We had a show. And that feeling, that energy, I just... Nothing is over that, like, and for the moment, I still do play ball. So yeah, shout out the NBA. Yeah, I love both <laughs> both aspects of this world. So, and I'm planning on doing both. So, it's, it's a lot coming with us. So, 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 what about you, Jeezy? Tell us a little bit uh, about growing up and about you know your role in the label. Um, basically, um, I was into basketball too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um. <laughs> Shout out to Sebastian Telfair. You know, I used to ball with him back in the days. Um, well, in Cuban Entertainment, I started off being the manager, to tell you the truth. Like, I, I was I was the manager. You know, the, the guy that would get the equipment and all that, invest, just invest into QB Entertainment. Yeah. And then one day I just started writing at my job, you know, writing, writing, writing. And then look, look at me now. Wow. You know what I mean? Looking ten times better. <laughs> wow, that's dope. That's so dope. So. Definitely, and I and I and I fell in love with you know. Shout out to my older sister. Always used to play Caribbean music when I was younger, so we fell in love with it. And look now, we got a hit single, "Rhythm." You know what I mean? So and it's in the streaming worldwide. I seen it like it, it was in Haiti, London, it was in Africa, Africa, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It was yeah. everywhere. And yes. we just came off of a crazy show in Canada. Shout out to Canada, Montreal. Yeah. You know what I mean? They booked us out there and we love the vibe. Toronto, we coming, babe. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> well, shout out to that because I, I, I want to get into the song now, but <laughs> we going to wait. I need a little bit more juice about you guys. So tell me more about how do you guys collab? Um, I know you guys are not a band, um, but how does it, how does the flow work when you guys join together on the track so rhythm everyone here is on rhythm nah just me no. and my brother so just g just g weezy and yeah. king no oh featuring right. denzel yeah featuring Shout denzel. Out to denzel right in atlanta georgia right so um so like how do you guys collaborate together um when you put together projects um we can start with you first Vinny, if you want most of the time is within a group so it's like, it's just a vibe that we feel. Like we get together, we link up and we play beats and we just run through it until we both catch a particular vibe or a feeling that we're looking for. It's like, we never just always pinpoint what we want to talk about. We like, we like giving people like genuine moments and vibes from us. So that's really where those vibes and collabs come from. That's dope. It is no problem, no headache, no... Nah. No stress? Nah, not it's really. rock, paper, scissors yeah. sometimes. Okay, <laughs> rock, paper, paper scissors. Uh, it's like... <laughs> Once you feel it vibe, we just flow. And That's just so flow dope. Down. Okay, cool. What about you? Well, for me, it's similar to what he's saying because every time I'm doing music, uh, not most of the time, but, you know, majority of the time, it is with and Drake. So we'll, like, basically go to beats and, you know, just catch a vibe. Just yeah. we'll, sometimes, we, sometimes we'll have a topic of, what, of how we both feeling. Mm -hmm. And if it's similar, then we'll even look for a song like that yeah. and make a, a song like that and go off just, you know, that type. So but most of the time it is it is coming out of thin air. It's just, <laughs> it's just we cooking. Like a and, creative spark. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like that's what we do. Like that light bulb just turn on. Right. Yeah, go time. Know, we got it. And then like mostly like for G-Weezy is like... All right, it's like it's pieces. So it's like it's, it's Vinny Vega, then it's then it's G Weezy on the other side. Like so, with him, it's more like he kind of has the sorry, he kind of has the song done. Right. Like he has it like done already. So it's more like just you know you gotta just be prepared for it all the time. And even when you have a uh, what can I say two hours to go to studio and this man just brung you the song. So wow. you, <laughs> you gotta do it. You gotta do what you gotta do. And so, what about you, G Weezy? Is it how do you collaborate, and how does your creative spark come about? And is it hard for you? 
No, it's not really hard for me. Because I know on Rhythm you have your brother and you have Denzel. Yeah. Um, so was that a hard thing to do? Um, no, not really. Once I like feel the rhythm of it, I feel like this is a hit. It's just like when I was, you know, yeah. When once I um found the um beat and everything, I told my brother this is gonna be a hit single. I didn't even like the uh, track when I first heard it, honestly. I didn't even like it. Yeah, he didn't, but I was like, yo, this is a hit, bro. Fire. I was like, man, what you talking about? I don't want to do this. I said, song. watch. And then it was like crazy. So as soon as we put it out overnight, it just blew up. Yeah. Are y'all going up? I'm yeah, telling y'all. Okay. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to get y'all on my big <laughs> platform. And then it's going to be lit this time. I'm telling y'all. Because it's, listen, and, and, I had a few people on the show, but y'all, like, to get excuse me to get all of y'all like i feel blessed I, like i just feel excited thank like you. i really feel blessed and then for um another thing about that song is like no radio play no dj play yeah. and no manager yeah. no, no management no, no, no nothing. nothing and we streaming over five million you know just off of us just grinding, grinding and, and shout out to the fans that's just so we got cool. over like 500 videos that people's dancing to it yeah streaming it we yes. got kids dancing to it yes. and, you know and yeah. it's just it's going up and it's, and it's a blessing from god it is that's how y'all shout out to murder mills young infamous yeah you already know shout out to drama so how did you guys meet y'all met you met him <laughs> who's older you met him at birth but yeah. he's older so he was there, <laughs> y'all met each other. Yeah. So how did all of y'all meet? Like, let's, can I hear like a little like, story? Well, yeah, it started from high school. Like I said, me right. and Tanoa went to the same high school and we actually played on the same ball team and things like that and got close. And I followed his movement and I was always in the studio with them around in their music videos. And this was so, before he was even yeah, This is before, this is when I was just strictly on basketball. Like my school, wow. George Washington, Dub Life, like it was just basketball. That's all it was. Yes. And then he told me, you want to make a track one day. He been in the studio all the time, and then it was just that. It was just a vibe from there. That's so dope. And you guys, are, how's your relationship with your brother? Like, are you guys like? I can't stand him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we both yeah, I can't yeah. stand him. Who would it? Who would it? Nah, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> nah, I'm playing. But you know what I mean? He's, he's, he's a tough cookie, man. Yeah. Gotta keep him on track. But I, I could definitely say this music in our career has brought us closer together because we, we 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 found out that we're not the same <laughs> you know we just different mm -hmm. but with this music made us become into one pot yes i like that so who are you uh, like who are like one of your biggest influencers um it could be family in your career like can i get one from each of you for real, for real, like Chris Breezy. Oh, oh my TV. God, Chris, Chris Breezy. <laughs> yeah, I might you never know in the future. <laughs> Chris Brown, man. Put that I just in love existence. his hard work. I just love, I just love how he is. Even if he go through anything, he bounce right back. Yeah, I agree. What about you, King Noah? Uh, I would say right now, I'm. Well, it was, it was Tia, and it was Drake. Yeah. But honey, I'm only gonna pick one. Right now, <laughs> right now, it's me. Yeah. I'm going with Lil Wayne. Oh, and the, shut reason, up, and the reason why is because the heart and drive, and you got to understand, it's like my man, shout out to Rose. It's like my man Rose scored 50 points. When you, you know, when he was going through the little situation with his with the Birdman thing, it's just like to see that battle and me being in music and just how I know how it is. I think, you know, I just look up to him because even when he was going through his allegations and all of that, he was still basically on top. He was still doing what he was supposed to be doing. Most other people would have just fallen off. And he just kept that heart. And, you know, of course, the fans helped him. So that's what I'm going to say that I look up to Lil Wayne about hard work pays yes. off. Hard work definitely pays off. What about and you? Consistency. Mm -hmm. yeah, true. Um, for me, I would have to stay, I think I'm going to have to stay home with it. And I'm going to say me. Meek been shout out to me. Shout out to Meek, man. He, I agree he, went, with you. he went through a lot and Meek. he had a lot of ups, downs, and people turned their back on him and walked away. And there's a lot of us that didn't. And with him himself, he stayed humble. Mm -hmm. He stayed with his focus was and he just kept being him. And I can look up to that. I, so I me, agree. I, shout out Meek, man. Dream Chasers. Yeah, Dream shout Chasers. out everybody. Shout out y'all. Because y'all are going to become somebody influences in the field, you know. Oh, yeah. um, that's Definitely. why I wanted to bring you guys on the station. I created this show to motivate and to bring on the hottest guests in New York City. 
and to leave a message with everybody, to share your story, and for everybody here on City College to know, like, you know, the only way is up. And this is the hottest hour, so why not bring the hottest guests on, you know? So we're going to take a quick break. We're going to get, and we're going to play your song again, Love on the Road. And um, this is G Weezy and King Noah. We're going to be back, and then we're going to play Rhythm, and we're going to talk about your future goals and everything that you guys have in store. Yes, we'll be back with more. This is the hottest hour. And we are live back here at the Hottest Hour Lunch Talk with your girl, Shea Ferguson. And I have my special guest here. No, nope. Y'all, y'all, y'all. <laughs> so, yes, let's hey. talk about our goals and <laughs> um, our career. So, um, everyone, let's hear from each of you guys. First, we'll start off with Vinny Vega. Let's hear about your career goals and what you have in store. As far as career goals for me, I just want to... Mm-hmm. This is what I, got. I just want to get on a platform where people under me coming up see like, oh right, yeah, he did it. He didn't have no special handout. No, he was just working. He was just grinding, and he fought for what he wanted to. So I just want a platform to see that and follow behind that. And I think you gotta have this or that to do anything. And as far as future projects, flex up on SoundCloud right now. Video for that definitely coming soon. I'm working on a um, little EP I'm putting together called Medication. That's definitely on the way. And Besides that, just all I can say is stay tuned. I'm coming. Yes, I like that. What about you, King Noah? <laughs> <laughs> no. Say <laughs> <clears throat> no, but yeah, on the real note, my goals. This is my goal. I'm going to just put it out here like this. I want to build, like I was, you know, speaking about earlier. I really want to, like, my goals is really have nothing to do with music. It's more just want to, I want to help people, like, autism stuff like that like that's really bottom my heart that's really where i'm at with it that i got into music i felt like i would have a platform to help me do you know do them things but as far as music goals i feel like i already made it you know i could i could do more before as far as you know success and you know of course do more shows uh drop albums stuff like that but uh, i don't know like I have a single that just blew up. I'm more, as you can tell, I'm just more humble and happy. Like, I'm just happy with the moment. I don't think I should put a time frame on it. Like, oh, my God, I wonder if he reached it. Listen, man, we made it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we live. Like, bro, you know what I mean? Go check out that, 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 that Rhythm International. You know what I mean? Yes, we about That's to get goal. into that. So, g what are your career goals um, for the future? Well, um, I'm working on this project. It's a women's clothing line. It's called uh, We Chasing the Dream. Um, uh, confidence. Yeah, yeah, confidence has no competition. And we all. Confidence don't have no competition. None. None at all. Girls, we're going to have to get into that. It's going to be in movies and everything. Wow. has no competition. Here we go, y'all. Yeah, definitely. Confidence has no competition. I want to uplift. You know, women, and you know, make sure that they feel good about themselves. Build your through, confidence. Up. You know, some bad relationships, you go, girl. good relationships, <laughs> but you know, I, I always see a female always have a problem with her, you know, self esteem and all that stuff. But you know, I just want to build it and make sure, you know, to let these ladies know y'all all beautiful, every shape, size, and everything. <laughs> 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 and, music so, wise. and music wise, <laughs> y'all music beautiful wise. women, you guys are beautiful. Yes, y'all are. There yeah. we go. So mm-hmm. we definitely want to know. So international, internationally, um, what is the direction you trying? You guys are trying to go with with the song rhythm. I mean, the whole point of this song, I felt like it was just. We wanted the whole world to be able to move. Move, yeah, just dance. Really so really happy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just, just, just dance, vibe with it. When it come on, you just gotta move your body. Yeah, you have to. Just have to, like you know, all that stress could go away. Once rhythm come on, you just gotta be shaking that little thumb thumb. You already know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. So we're gonna get into rhythm right now. When we get back, we are gonna close out today's show, and we're just gonna touch base on what everybody's got in store even more, and where you can follow them at. So let's get into the new music, guys. We are live here at City College. Stay tuned.
International rhythm. International. International. International rhythm. Yes. Yes. I love it. That is I was just dancing a little. I don't normally like do reggae. Oh, yeah, I, no, I like old everybody that knows me, I like old school eighties. Yeah. Um no. Just, just, just old, old school like, 80s. you know, like so sad like just <laughs> all this and i listen to jazz but I, I i don't really listen to too much caribbean music but that's why i really wanted you guys to come on the show because i really needed that like caribbean yeah, energy yeah, that vibe yeah. my shout out to my one of my best friends my career partner sharice every time we in her car in brooklyn that's all she want to play some caribbean music yeah. she's guyanese so she's okay. late oh, like yeah. you know so Let's get back to the interview, guys. Sorry, but all right. So, on another note, um, so we have an album out right now, or is it just a single? We have an album out, International Rhythm. Right. So, and that came out two thousand and seventeen or eighteen. Yeah, the end of two thousand seventeen. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna push that forward, mm -hmm. um, and things like that. Okay. And that was because we didn't want to drop it. But the crazy part about it is that as soon as they heard the rhythm, rhythm yeah, the fans like, was like, yo, we need more. We need more. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. like, all right, we're going to put it together, you know. Take, take. So we have rhythm, we have flex up, and we have, is Wavy Level um, a song yeah, that a single, is a single? single. Yeah. Is that something we should be on the lookout for? Yeah. yeah. That fine yeah. girl. Fine girl, and also and every, every day. day. Oh, you got to play every I day. love every day. <laughs> That's, it's been out for two weeks. <laughs> look, I got it right here. She got home with us. But uh so yes, research is great. We have to do research. Um, yes. So okay, so every day we're gonna get into that. Um we're gonna play that. We're gonna spin that a couple times. Okay. Um, just the first beginning part, yeah. but then we're gonna spin um rhythm clean while we exit out okay. so i think i want you guys to hear it i want you to hear it out in the hallway mm -hmm. to see um city shout out city college everybody tuned in you know i hope everybody has a great rest of their day enjoy the weather stay dry <laughs> um so let me know and let everyone else know here that's listening in where they can catch you guys where they can follow you um we talked about you know, growing up, we talked about goals, and we also talked about the direction you guys are going in. I know that you guys are on the way to the top, so stay Appreciate focused, set those goals, and let's do it. Hi. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, yes, we are live here at WCCR 598 and Radio. You guys want to let them know where they can check you at? Vinny Vega. You can uh, follow me on Instagram, um, QB underscore Vinny Vega. Um, Snapchat, the real QB underscore Vega. And we around. You feel me? Flex up. It's your boy, King Noah. Very, I'm going to make this very, very easy. <laughs> follow me at King Noah QB on Instagram. <laughs> I repeat. <laughs> King Noah QB on Instagram. On Instagram. And I see you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> you already know you can follow us at the real Q B E N T. That way. The real Q B E N T. So, other than that, are you guys going on tour or uh, any dates, any shows coming up? Uh, we're just working on. We, yeah. We're about to shoot vid a video, video for Love on the Road, Flex Up, and Flex Up. Oh, yeah, so we yeah, got two videos. Yeah, two videos. So we're doing a we're doing a yeah. lot of power moves right now. Yes. Oh, uh, we ain't doing too much shows right now. So who's on um Flex Up? Just you, Vinny Vega, or yeah. is it just okay? No, just so you got all, you guys are all gonna support um support the song and be in the yep. video yeah, and of course. So, yeah. right. Oh, I love this is like a family. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, a family. And and and, and we all dropping 
a mixtape too. Yeah. Yes. Like a, like Amigos, but like new fresh. International? No. The Amigos stick together a lot. We yeah. we stick together, but we branch out more yeah. than Amigos. I mm-hmm. think they branching out now, right? They just, yeah, yeah, they just started branching out. So it's like, we've been doing that. Right. So thank you guys so much for visiting City College, the hottest hour lunch talk. I'm so happy you guys was able to come. Um, So... I am working with Subways. Every week, I give away a Subways gift card. Um, you never know how much is on there. Oh, it could be 15 to $500. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> but um, yeah, so you guys use the Subway, treat yourself some Subways, okay. eat fresh. Thank you. And, you know, it'll be great. So I hope I you really, guys I go. Really appreciate um, it. Really they don't eat Subway. No, 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 I got it. I'm going to hold on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would say, so we're going to get into every day, and then we'll close out. And stay tuned every Tuesday for the hottest hour. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you, Thank you for having us. Nice. Yes. Stay tuned. See ya. Every day, I'm in my lane. Every day, no socialize. Oh, my God. Go to mine. Am I wrong? Don't give a time. I just gotta bounce, 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 bounce.